Hey YouTube, uh, today I'll show you how you can uh, set up your own HDP VR and uh, I'll try to make it as simple as possible. There's going to be a lot of cables involved, but just hang in there with me. So what you're going to have here, this is your HDP VR. It's pretty cool looking, you guys will see once I turn it on. It's going to be looking amazing. It comes with this installation CD that you must use before you do anything or else your HDP VR is not going to work. It comes with this remote control, which I'm not really going to use because, you know, my setup is really close. Got the HTTP VR laptop, my Astros, and the 360 with my HDTV. Not bragging, just saying. So, uh, it comes with uh, this CD, a USB cable that you will need to connect with your computer. It's going to come with this cable, the component cable, and uh, the power, power supply is over here. So, just just do this really quickly, easy. Alright, you're going to connect. There's the in and the out. So, your Xbox is going into the HDP VR. And these cables are taking it out onto your television. So, you, you're going to have to look at each color. You're going to connect every color where it's supposed to be. You know, it's pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. Your Xbox cables have to be at the bottom as you guys can see over here now once you've done that you're gonna you're gonna take those white cables and you're gonna connect them all the way in the back of your TV as you guys can see right over here now you have all your things set up you're gonna turn on your PVR alright and uh, you're gonna take this CD you're gonna put it inside your computer now I'm not going to do that because I've already been through the step and it's pretty easy. It's going to show you step one, install driver. Make sure you do that or your HD PVR is not going to work. Second, you're going to install the software which is over here. It's called Total Media Extreme. It comes with uh, others, uh, other softwares like Total Media Theater. And uh, once you've done all that, you're going to make sure your HD PVR is on. Make sure it's on. You're going to click on Total Media Extreme. This screen is going to pop up. So what you should do now is turn on your Xbox. And your TV is on, so I don't need to do anything there. I'm going to wait till it pops up on my television. As you can see. Now... You're going to click on this first icon over here. It's going to say record video. Just click on that once. Now, there you go. HD setup. It's perfect. Now, unmute. You guys can probably hear the all the notifications. Uh, the Black Ops trailer playing. Alright, so now for the settings. I'm just going to get rid of this uh, music over here. Alright. Where it says video input, it's going to say YPRPB. Alright, you're going to make sure you have that on. It, it comes up automatically. Your audio input is RCA back. Your PC audio mode is two channel stereo. And the input resolution, this is, uh, it goes up there automatically. The bit rate you can set up as, 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 like, as high as you want. And over here, if you're using a PlayStation 3, you gotta roll your mouse over that and you gotta click PlayStation 3. But in my case, I'm using an Xbox 360, so I guess I have to click on that. Down here, um, this is the format in which you wish to save it, but... Um, you pretty much can't really save in anything else but MP4 for the Xbox and for the PlayStation 3 it's M2TS. This is where you uh, pick uh, where you want to save it. I usually save it on my desktop. And uh, now for the, for the technical stuff, you're going to go into device settings. Just uh, play with the brightness, see how, how you want it. This is how I have mine set up and then you will go to video decoder make sure this is NTSC if you're using a Sony television um, it depends on your TV there's like a lot of options that you can pick from 
but I have mine on NTSCM. Now you go on to your format settings, you're going to click on that. The video is going to go black because uh, you're pretty much going to be playing with the settings. So I have mine, it's automatically on 1280 by 720 at 60 frames per second, so that's pretty fast. The quality bitrate, I have it on 8 megabyte per second, but you can bump it up to 13.5. To Make sure this is constant bitrate, it says constant bitrate or else it's going to be slow as hell. When you want to disable your bling LEDs, um, it starts blinking when, when, it's, uh, when it's recording. It doesn't just stay on. I'll show you guys an example of that in a second. Make sure your uh, Luma and Chroma are 3 and 3. And uh, you can either use the AC3 audio recorder or AAC audio recorder. Depends on you. So once you're done with that, you press OK and your video will pop up again depends on which quality you want it it's gonna be there as you can see this is the capture button this is where you can you're gonna hit it and you're gonna start capturing uh, some uh, gameplay and uh, I will show you guys an example of my gameplay uh, modern warfare gameplay I'm just gonna show you guys uh, how good the quality is it's, it's pretty good I recommend that you guys use it with QuickTime Player because I normally use VLC Media Player and it, it's kind of laggy so make sure you have QuickTime Player on. And most people try and render their videos using Sony Vegas so that, that's pretty, it's pretty neat too. You guys can try that. So I'm going to show you guys a, a game, uh, Search and Destroy on Terminal. Um, this game can be found on YouTube. It's uh, my other video. It's the first one I've uploaded. Uh, so uh enjoy. This is this is the quality of um of the video coming out from the HDP VR. Alright, uh, this is just a little taste of it. If you guys want to see the whole thing, just make sure you uh, check out my channel. There's going to be more uh, gameplay coming up. And if you guys have any questions about the HTTP VR, just uh, don't hesitate. I'll uh, try and answer you guys as soon as possible. And uh, I, hope, uh, I hope all works for you. And uh, just make sure that you have everything correctly. Watch the video more than once if you want. Just make sure the setup is correct so that you have an easy installation, everything goes right. So uh, this is Trance, wish you guys good luck.